Hey there everyone, it's C.S. Gilmore again, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon! We're in the Weald after a successful night of camping, and with everyone's health at full, stress level's not too bad, might as well have just started the dungeon, aside from the fact that we're way low on food. I did a bit of organizing of the inventory during my little break between the two sessions, and opened up the map and did some scouting. Looks like I've got three quick battles right ahead. Let's get to it. Ah, bother. I don't have a key for that. I'm gonna ignore it for now. Rather, in case I come across a key on the way. Making that start. Also, I want to apologize if this is a little slow. Uh, I've got the last episode encoding right now and that's probably giving my computer a little bit of a handful to handle all at once. But it's still working okay, so it might work. Executed. I agree, Ancestor. I agree. Masterfully executed. In one case, literally. With the execution part, that is. See? How do you like being stabbed? Hurts, doesn't it? More of those. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, you're bleeding. I didn't realize. All better. Now I'm going. Oh, more scouting. Great. Okay, I've got at least two more room battles to go in order to complete the quest. That's gonna be difficult, but I think I can pull it off. I'm going to play it safe though and keep my torch level high. Ah, here's some of the ones I wanted to show you. Rabbit Nasher. Basically, looks like zombie dogs, and they tend to give rabies. They are also really hard to hit because they are so fast. Like, they have a dodge of 15. What's the... Ah, oh, they've got high blight resist. I'm just gonna stun him if I can. Awesome. Your... Your hero is bleeding. If you wish, you can use a bandage from inventory to stop the flow. Right click on the bandage while it's the injured hero's turn. 
It's only one point of damage. I kind of don't care right now. I'd rather just focus on the assault. And you missed. I'm kind of surprised he hit. These guys are really hard to hit. So, the fact that she missed wasn't ex exactly a surprise. It's actually more surprising that my characters are hitting this much. Oh good, no corpse. Means they're both right in reach. I kind of... Like, the animations are great, but I sometimes kind of wish I could cut those out. Maybe there's an option for that. It would certainly speed up combat. Just because they always have to do this for every attack. Though I do like that every single attack has its own unique image. Precision and power. Great. More gold. And everyone's As set. victories mount, so too will resistance. So I'm not getting much for heirlooms this run, but I'm getting a lot of gold. No, you don't. You just stop bleeding. You don't need a bandage. And another one of these tentacle thorn bush things. Hear that? Good thing I picked up that extra shovel. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble. Okay, that rhymed. That was weird. Next battle. Oh, I well, I don't have enough food to really heal him. I think I should he have healed him before the battle, but can't do much really. It's only two food. What are we doing? Killing weird creatures and people hanging out in a swampy forest nightmare. That's what we're doing. Did you not get the memo? Were you not paying attention in the briefing room? Before we left town? No? Okay. The bright thing here is that without someone to mark my characters, these two are less likely to hit anything. I wouldn't do any particular amount of damage. I don't want your hugs. Get away. Hopefully I can kill her. Obliterated. Oh yeah, she is dead. She is way dead. Of course, he's not looking too hot either, so that's not good. Everyone's in reach now, except for the bounty hunter being able to hit him in the back with a good, solid smack. 
Well, he got a good small, solid smack on this guy. Small, it is, that's not the right word. The guys are actually kind of getting better on their stress just from getting good hits in. Which is helpful because that'll save me a lot of trouble in the long run, hopefully. Not that that could change around real fast. Decisive pummeling. I think that's a different line that he usually says. Usually it's like, a decisive blow! So, pummeling. Wouldn't that suggest a blunt weapon? That didn't look like a blunt weapon. I don't think axes count as blunt Slowly, weapons. Gently. Oh well. This is how a life is taken. Oh, very nice. Remind yourself that overconfidence okay, you is slow and insidious. Do this with the fountain, holy water. Ah, didn't heal him, it only healed stress. Okay, I have to remember that. Fountain in the wield heals stress. Not hit points. Hopefully this is the last necessary battle. Secret rooms. A critical scouting success will sometimes reveal a secret room. Advance to the tile marked with a star and press W or click to enter. Fabulous wealth. Fabulous wealth and riches await those equipped with a key. I don't have a key. Show up, Rocky. And it looks like I have three more battles to go to end this. I may have to make this a three-parter just because of all the time it's taking to get through these battles. Assuming I survive that long. Because three battles is a lot of battles. Ah, uh, I see you. Disarm them, please. Disarm the mushrooms. And I don't have food because I just ate it. Ouch, that sucks. The requirements of that was not worth it. I thought they only raised stress if they didn't have that for that. Ah. Okay, here's where things are going bad. Use torches. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Ah, here's the other ones I want to show you. Okay, they're not slimes, they're ectoplasm. And they are pretty well immune to all sorts of junk. And they're really hard to kill because if, like, there's a corpse, I believe, they can multiply and they can join together to create a giant slime. Oh, good. Critical. That'll get rid of the corpse so they can't respawn him. Woohoo! Can't come back from the dust, can you? Alright, criticals for everyone. Except for you. No criticals for you. They use a bandage on him. Doesn't do a ton, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long haul. Oh dear. 
I did not know they could do that from nothing. And now I am in so much trouble. Kill the little guy. This mission may fail after all. This is worth transforming. Do it. I need you to do a lot of damage. Um, break. Oh yeah, that'll only hit him. Do it anyway. It would be nice if like those extra large units took double the damage for a double space hitter since they take up both those spaces, but, oh well. well struck. He is doing good on criticals. Probably due to his buff from the camp out. Finish it. I'm really hoping it won't multiply further. I think it's going to though, because these slimes suck. Yep, it did, because there was a corpse. <sighs> well, at least you can hit both of them now. That's an add bonus of their positioning. Focus on this big one so that she can hit them both with a uh, the entangler attack that will hopefully finish them both. No, it's not. Because you're gonna multiply again. Do you multiply if you miss? Do. You suck. Well, at least their ranks are full, so they can't multiply further, as far as I'm aware. Still sucks though. Um, what would be best? Kill that. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Turns into a giant corpse, which is really two corpses. And kill that. Take stress damage each turn like this. Um, this perfect. Whew. Okay, that was a lot tougher than I expected it to be. It was cool because I got to sh show you both of the slime creatures but these nightmares also that was really hard and could doom this expedition to failure because I am out of food for healing unlocked strong box open it please have food deeds okay well if I run away at least I won't be leaving empty-handed I'll leave with a lot of gold and a few tokens uh, go here Try the secret room. Go up. Yep, I don't have a key though. <sighs> Sucks. You know what? Try it anyway. I don't know if it probably won't work. Oh, it did! I probably just didn't get as much as I could have. Well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Press on, try to finish this quest. Oh, okay, that went back. Oh, 
I see what I did wrong. Yeah, now I'll go here. Let's see if I can get through these next two battles alive. I'm out of shovels, I believe. Yeah, out of shovels, so I'll have to do this the hard way. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. And this is going downhill fast. The light, Aside from the, the path. promise of safety. Press on. And battle. Great. That's a lot of people. And stress inducers too, and my guys can't take much more of this. This could be it. This how I'm also I'm sorry this episode is going so long. I was not expecting to have this many battles for a single dungeon. This is like ludicrous. Ah, she's gonna go over the edge. She got a virtue. That's a good one for when your resolve gets tested. Stalwart. So she'll actually be helping others. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. And she gets a boost to her abilities, I believe. You'll probably talk about it in a second. So as it finishes all these little th things. There it is. Virtuous. Sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming heroic. This elevated state of, of performance will last until they camp or return to town and confer stat bonuses and other benefits. Okay. He's done. I doubt I'll be so lucky to get any more virtues this battle. So I'd rather not have other people get tested. throwing a dagger. Are you sure that crossbow is like properly tuned? Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Everyone's pretty beat up except for her, health-wise. Stress is not good on anyone. You're gonna go next and make things worse. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay, you probably are. It's her. Probably won't stun, but it still does damage. Finish him. Now. Fatality. Impressive. Critical. That's helpful on so many levels. Get through this battle, I believe. <sighs> but will I make it through that next one? I hope that's the last room battle. If I can 
beat that one, I'm hoping I'll be able to finish the dungeon and get victory out of this, because that pays off even better than if I had run away with all this loot. Sweet! She is doing great! Two down, two to go. And that's not good. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. survive to the end of the battle at this rate. Guess we'll find out. You only have a heal on yourself. You don't have anything that helps him. You might be able to stun it though, which could save his life, literally. You can, though. Bandage. I'll get him off death's door so he won't be getting killed on the next swipe. Which is probably gonna happen because they tend to focus like that. Or not. Guess I don't know their system as well as I thought. <sighs> not sure if I dare enter the next battle. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go into the next battle unless one of my characters dies here. And hopefully I'll win. If not, I'll retreat with at least one survivor and get a lot of loot. Yeah, why is that? What do I care? These characters are all kind of cannon fodder anyway. I don't really, like, Bounty Hunters are far from my favorite character. Abomination's kind of the same. So I don't really mind if they die all that much. It just... I kind of do mind at the same time, if that makes any sense. I don't like losing characters just all over the place. All right. Battle complete. Lots of deeds. Take it. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Take it. Okay, my computer's being a little slow right now. More loot. Uh, what does this do? To increase resistances. I'll give you that. I want there to be at least one survivor, and she seems to be the most likely. Okay. And you've got a debuff. Why is that? I don't know if this will remove that. Let's try it. Oh, it did. Excellent. So she'd be less likely to get stressed out more. Torch. In radiance, may we find victory. All right, this is it. The maker break point. Ah. Not the worst enemies. Not the best either.
perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Back to death store. More stress. There's that. Stun one. Bye. Oh, he lived. Nice. But now you've got bleed and you're on death door. You are so toast, my friend. I'm not even going to bother healing you. It's not worth the extra I'd have to put into it. So, shoot that. Or fail. That's the worst part with these enemies, they are just so hard to hit. They don't hit with a ton of damage, but they are so fast. Like, see, critical only did 5 damage. That's not bad. But they're so fast, they're still a threat. This game does not go easy on you. Ever. Your turn to be tested. Selfish. Great. If he lives through this, I'll probably just disband him when I get back to town. Because this is way more trouble than it's worth to try to fix him up. Money wise and everything. Probably not gonna live back to town though. I am really surprised he is still alive. As life ebbs, and you're at this terrible now. vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. No, I've got bandages, I should use that. I am so not paying attention, it seems. <sighs> Please kill it. Thank you. her, aren't you? Wow. Okay, I honestly think this may be the longest I've seen characters on Death's Door survive. Okay, he's gone now. That was still really impressive that he lived A, we're near that long. Just, it doesn't happen. survive this dungeon with a victory. Unless there's another battle after this. If there's another battle after this, I'm out. Because there's no way I can handle it with my characters in this condition if there's another battle. And you can't do anything there. Transform. Might as well. Everyone's already having trouble here. One left. One left. One, three against one. I have this. <sighs> Two hit points. Still alive.
and like when they have when they're on death's door every start of the turn they have a chance of dying so this is at least if I remember right at least with bleed they definitely do so really this is amazing that these characters are holding up as well as they have and all that Resolve is tested paranoid the walls close in shadows whisper ah, he turned back. and well, I guess I'll just do that on you then. that was a weird sound You have to do that, or that. You know, heal her. See if you can keep her alive. Uh, I am really sorry this episode is going so long. But, I really want to get this done. I'll just, as soon as this battle's over, as soon as this battle's over, I'll, I'm leaving this dungeon, and we'll wrap that up and call it a day. Lots of gold. Good. Um, this expedition at least promises success. One of these ones. Yeah, clear away that so I can actually see. No, I don't want. <sighs> there we go. Okay, now take the gold. And use that. It's not gonna sell back for much. Okay, this is a success. Continue adventuring though, just a tweak longer so I can check this chest. Um, use that. Deeds are way more value to me because now I have enough. As long as I have enough of the other heirlooms, I can upgrade the blacksmith. I won't do that this episode, just because of time. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Alright, I made bank on that dungeon. Even if I didn't succeed in... No, I did succeed in beating it. Oh wow. I'm used to trying to finish the whole dungeon and I wouldn't have been able to do that, but... I'd still completed the quest, because I met the requirements. Whew. Well, they got a little extra XP than I thought they would. Weapon Tinker. Weapon upgrade cost is lower. Good. Because I'm going to want to do that. First Unholy. Obsessed with self-worship. Don't know how that works. And only flagulates. You'll pr I'll probably just send you off anyway open up some space in my barracks to recruit some new people. Oh, I can sell unwanted trinkets. I might do that. Or I'll hold on to the trinkets for now just because that way I have a kind of a stock in case of really having my gold splice down. Fosters skill and confidence. Oh, what's this? Archery tournament. The keenest eye and stays hand will prevail during this week's tournament. The winner will claim the coveted Caretaker's Cup. Idle Arbalists gain plus one resolve level. Okay, so I won't want to take my Arbalist with me into the next dungeon. I don't want her to do anything really because I want her to be idle so that she can do this. That's new. And everything else is in order. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hit like, hit subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.